Okay. So, uh, three, two, one, go. God, that... <laughs> so, uh... So, uh, per reading some of the notes that were prepared is this welcome to the Nandi Star round. While I'll also be doing the capless cannonless challenge. Because essentially, I'll beat the game with the intended amount of star without using any capture cannons, which changes the writer a little bit, and also adds some stars that are not normally obtained in the regular Nandi Star round. 70 star 74 stars are kept from the regular 90 star route. 16 are new. The reason I'm only doing CC bliss instead of CCC bliss is because ISC is not possible without getting coin stars. This I can only get 69 stars and that is nowhere near the 90 you need to enter B3. Climbing both parts of B3 is possible CCC bliss using star display warp. So so first of all, we're in course one. So, so we start off different already, getting stars in course one. I can get six out of seven stars here because the last star required uh, because the last star requires the wing cap. Also, climbing the tower means getting some coins, so getting these stars is not possible CCC less. So also, I figure, um, also figure on like a personal note, uh, going through this game myself recently, I, uh, <laughs> like, I'll say I, I do not get the hype surrounding this game, but this, but apparently a good amount of people from like the OG community like it though, so. <laughs> But this is new. Never run on this. Schedule. Let me see. So it's four and three. So, <laughs> red thing later. I mean, <laughs> I mean, the, I mean, personally, the hack just wasn't fun. Capless cannonless, yeah, as was described earlier. Well, you know, it is capless cannonless, not coinless because it's. Because as described in the notes earlier, it's definitely not, uh, you know, feasible to get the 90 stars required to enter uh, Bowser 3. Revolver cutscene. This is why I remember the new star hater comment that was uh, out. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, of course, you would say that, Katze, right? <laughs> <Here we go! laughs> anyway. So, let's see here. So, let's see the <laughs> And yeah, this, uh, this entire... I believe this, this hack I've started playing back in like 2017 but I never really got far in it at all except for very recently while just trying to prepare for the run or whatever. So. Let's 
exclusive. <laughs> this hack does things. That is factually correct, Noodle Bear. <laughs> it, it indeed does things. <laughs> like, I cannot argue with you right there. Say my blood doing that ton of stuff. There's new star remake waiting room. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a new star remake would be pretty cool. Just so waiting for for new Zatara attack. True. <laughs> Next split drop. Next split. Yes. Uh, now we're going to wing cap. Now we're actually going to it. It says, Capitalist rules state that you're allowed to use the cap's effects if you enter the stage with the cap automatically. So you may be in trouble if you... If you try this on a hack where you don't get the cap automatically when entering the cap stage. <laughs> I'm only able to get one out of two stars here, because when going for the red coin star, you can get at most seven out of eight reds with the initial wing cap. And and then since wing cap exits near the course three entrance, that's where that's where he's going next. This is the reason why he gets stars in course one first, then do wing cap. Levels then affected by the capless counterless challenge, so you get all seven stars. Normally. The other sounds you've got really shitty music for us is the little fingers and mono instrument styles. <laughs> Champions challenge moment? <laughs> From Super Mario 74? Alright, so it's me when someone asked me to make. Shiny Stories want to be painted for console, but I already screwed up for the compatibility. <laughs> and now doing a uh, bump clip into the bully arena down below. It's way faster than intended. Yeah, really is faster. Uh, and like, was it intended just doing this, this large old, this big path inside of the main uh, building, yeah. and then, it's, it's and then also, do it. It's also yeah. specific. Ah. So this big issue using. Gloves. So this, the big issue with using vanilla assets is different courses. It's, it's painful decomping, and ZAR does that a lot. Ah, <laughs> I see. <laughs> Decomp manager win. <laughs> True Xenon. <laughs> useless. It's just a big decouple of the objects with some of the bags. This so it's a it's just isn't this that one soft light area? I'm, I'm not sure. Is there really a soft lock in in this course? Uh, not that I know of. Hmm. 
Oh well, there you, yeah, can, no. there you can. I remember you uh, were the seventh red. You can get shot by the amp, and you are stuck there. It has happened. Oh. To me. It has happened to me before. Kill many runs. Oh. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah. Now there's that in stats from a little alcove <laughs> from the genuine star work. Good start. <laughs> that is right. You know, it's like <laughs> just just trust me. <laughs> you know, the, yeah. Thank. Thank you. <laughs> Star name. This is totally le legitimate. Trust me. <laughs> Let's see. And now. Let's see. And now. Now in metal cap. Says nice to go to Metal Cap. Since I sent Force 3, says I will get the star I normally I get normally, but without pressing a switch. The initial metal cap is long enough to get to the star either taking lava damage only once or with no lava damage at all. Of course, depending on how good you do that. And it seems that he did it well when I wasn't looking, because I have this on like only like one monitor right now. And now Bowser uh, one. This is not like fifty stars and nine to Bowser one. This level is also unaffected, so I'll get the cage star with the Thwomp BLJ in the first key like no. Fun fact, the Thwomp BLJ is how I got that star casually. <laughs> Too lazy to go all the way to the end of the level. <laughs> yeah, so let's see. Like, I, I just didn't feel like going through the dire level, so I just... <laughs> so I just bailed Jade and just got it within like a couple tries. <laughs> and I thought, hell yeah. <laughs> and for some reason, the other splitter is kind of broken here. <laughs> yep. At least I didn't die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it don't. Sometimes it doesn't matter if you if you uh, take a little bit as long as you don't die. And and it's definitely a pug moment. Oh wow! <laughs> Just. Just no fear, just jumping straight into the fly guy. <laughs> Somehow work. <laughs> All balls. <laughs> drinking straw pull. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that actually is what it looks like. Yeah, I keep pressing and clicking the wrong tab. And now there's... Now there's this. That's good. Says, <laughs> guess the tries. 
couldn't guess. There were too many. <laughs> Just three. <laughs> so. So after. So this is. Uh, ah. So now we're going to course four in this case. So it says which I couldn't enter because it requires eight stars and I only had seven, so we're going down now. I can get four out of seven stars here, because stars four to six require you require either the wing cap or the cannon. Since you need to go to the floating island for a star, which is star four, a secret, which is star five, and a red coin star, which is star six. I will get the 100 coin star with the star 3 because there are plenty of coins in the rest of the stage, mainly from Wumps and Piranha Pots. For star 2, I'll go get the star normally, but without talking to the Cannabis Bomb. And for last, I'll do star 1 normally, going around the level, killing all, all the Piranha Pots. And... <coughs> and... <laughs> Just hyperspeed walk it to the island. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. True. <laughs> Hy hyperspeed walk kick all thirsty. Totally viable for sure. <laughs> Completely doable, 100% RTA. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Kirby air riding music. No, this is not Kirby. Um, I'm probably think I'm probably. So let's see. Let me see. Mm, dude. Uh, that's like that's like Dark World from Kid Icarus. Yeah. So let's see. Mm -hmm. no. So there's another star. So, um, I believe and and then the piranha plant star. I'll say this hack was most definitely like fine for for it being released in 2014. <laughs> uh, it probably was like a little bit more difficult to to properly make a level model back then due to like limited tools and stuff. Yeah, not too many tools available back then. Yeah, so so it's kind of understandable why stuff is why the way it is, or whatever. Um, so I'll give the hack a little bit of leeway for that in that case. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for the era that it was released in, it's pretty good. I just didn't have fun with it personally. See, there's. And then here we return to the regular level order, so the overworld movement from here will be the same as regular 90 star. Up next is course 5, where I'll get all 7 stars instead of only 6. 
the secret star here is quite long, so it's not done normally, but it's among the fastest stars in the other stars that and out of the other stars that will compensate those that have been removed due to the Capitalist Canada's challenge. <laughs> this, oh, there's an <laughs> oh, there's an underwater maze. Never mind. <laughs> it's not much, not too much of a maze because it's linear mostly. Yeah, just mostly a, a linear path with like one or two tiny forks to to gather secrets from. Ah <clears throat> oh, yes, the classic bomb clip. <laughs> <laughs> that right there was a single star Rocky. <laughs> but yeah, let's see. Green Hills definitely does ring a nostalgic bell. I used to see. I do remember playing. Like the original Sonic the Hedgehog back when it was like the very early 2000s. Uh, back when I used to play like a like a demo of well, like a trial run of like one of those games on the real one arcade plant. If anybody remembers that <laughs> from like back in the day. Hello, Xenopro. How's it going? This is another games on mobile. How time flies. <laughs> True. <laughs> this game is indeed a... It's still kind of crazy that I first started playing hacks, uh, like, eight years ago. <laughs> You're a longer gamer than I am. Yeah. Let's see. So, like... So, like, this hack probably was still in progress when I first started playing hacks. <laughs> That's kind of crazy to think about. Runs. Ah, decent start, but still too early to say anything. Old World, yeah. Old World 3 can be really terrible. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> just team kill. <laughs> yeah, total brutality right there. <laughs> There is no trust in in Bowser's forces. None. <laughs> Those both <laughs> Those fuckers were prepared. <laughs> nice star spawn. Yeah. Yeah, that's an epic star location. <laughs> Oh yeah, the little, the little switch press thing, that, that you didn't even 
that you don't even need to press the switch for because star no. hitboxes <laughs> because star hitbox extends just so that you would be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, I see none. What the? Alright. I didn't even know you could go into the maze through that way. I found it uh, accidentally on uh, on the run I was in. Ah! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good. So it's to so <laughs> can we get a pound? Dude, <laughs> <laughs> we love accidental discoveries. True. <laughs> Like sometimes the best speedrun discoveries are just are the ones that are done by complete accident. Oh. Ooh. Also, yeah, one another thing of note for this particular for that particular course is that in some random areas of the course, in some like select areas of that course, uh, the camera can break. Yeah. And 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 you'd have to, en enter and exit the water to reset the camera, which is which did feel kind of annoying, in a way. So let's see. Next is course two here, which is unaffected. So now we get the five stars. Get here normally. Reds and hundreds are here very slow and also really hard for being an overworld bundle, so I won't get them yet. No less. So let's see here. This This course was a uh, This course was a uh, a thing. Fun fact, uh, I had to go down that that huge uh, shoot, um, whatever, getting like hundreds. <laughs> um, yeah, like I did, like I did the shoot last. <laughs> this level is also a bit low on going, so you yeah. you miss any, and uh, you have to go down all the way down. Yeah. So let's see, there is a. Although if there is like one thing I've I've definitely had fun with this game is uh, doing single stop of it. So and so there's like there's like at least like one thing I've had like a good amount of fun with though. And then collecting the star on the on the big tree at the start. Hello Dakich, how is it going? Hmm. <laughs> it's good. Good to hear. Happen when he's wrong. Oh yeah, the f oh yeah, that definitely is like a shame. Ooh. <laughs> uh, God, shame that 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 you just like passed out in the middle of 
of your run there. Because as I bet as I zero go fine. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Prage. Don't it's busy prone in alcohol. What is why even does busy prone do? Sounds like medicine. For some people. Oh. Mm. Oh, an anxiety medication. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So, in, in, so let's see. And with and with this star, we're done with overworld one with four less stars than normal. And then... And then... Uh, next is... Ah, next is course, uh... Entering Overworld 2, we start on course 7. Well, I'll get all seven stars instead of five. There's a hundred tier of the slowest stars that made it to this route. <laughs> I can believe these notes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oof. <laughs> See. <laughs> Ammo. <laughs> oh god, this star, yeah. <laughs> okay, let me see here. It's almost 4 a.m. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. It's basically 1 a.m. here. Yeah. So. Yes, uh, CCU list, which is a, uh, which is a foreign challenge, which is capless and cannonless. Anything of note that I would like to get a fruit person. Oh yeah, some of the camera in Ghost Evan is kinda yeah. <laughs> to, yeah. To deal with due to the entire thing being in a cramped space. It's kind of funny how like there is always this option to include just like parallel camera even back then, but they didn't really think to use that <laughs> until like later. <laughs> and then Aglab came, and then Aglab came, came, came along, 
I can I can word things properly, I swear. It's not like I'm running off sleep deprivation or anything. Wonderful. True. Yeah, yeah. So let's see. <laughs> and now, this is the wig lifestyle. Or like I call it the Ron Killer Wiggler. Yeah. You you probably guess why. Ah. Yeah. I. So let's see. Although I do like the port that they used here, um, like the caverns, I think it was like the Severnaya caverns from GoldenEye 007. Actually, not exactly. I think it's just caverns. Not seven Naya uh, Kevins. Although I forget, are the coins in in this course like tight? Um, sort of. Ah. I think when I initially stopped playing this game, I was around like 40 or so stars. And then the last few days I got, got all the way out up to 132 stars, which is how many stars are actually in this game. Oh, for a second, I thought you missed that spike red until I looked back and said, like, Oh, I guess you do. <laughs> it's very easy to miss. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> 
listening. Items. So, now, with course 7 done, we go to Vanish Cap here. Those eligible stars instead of just one. The reds here were pretty quick to get because the level is quite small. Even considering the time it takes to get from V to get to Vanish Cap from the course 7 entrance. <laughs> so it's a. Interesting warp location. <laughs> I agree, Zemo. <laughs> just placing a just placing the warp right behind a random rock. <laughs> There's actually a I actually remember having like a good amount of fun doing one of the single stars in that one. It was definitely the cage one. Ooh. Also, also from what I've noticed, this game seems to be a pretty big fan of placing reds in, in small alcoves. Yeah. This is, oh, I never knew this song was used here. This is <laughs> my board is better though. <laughs> Humble brag. <laughs> A small bubble for Aglad. Oh. This is a look to vanish catch which Okay, now Now we move on to Rainbow Road. The stage doesn't require caps or cannons at all, so it's unaffected. Two stars. So what this case what this space looking consists of is a is a red star and a timer star. Much from this, I guess. So, course fourteen for some reason. The courses that stood out to me the most were that a level which is upcoming, one of the it was a level that's inside of like a of a large bedroom. Uh, and then it's course thirteen. Yeah. And and course fifteen were the most memorable for me. <laughs> the shell when you when you go over the smallest wall or whatever. <laughs> Like <laughs> a shell moment. So, so now with Corsex starting, starting the uh, the notes off with Monka. <laughs> Corsex coming up. Rather than getting three stars here, like a regular 90 star, I'm getting all seven, yep, reds, and hun, getting all seven reds, and hun, blah, getting all seven stars here. Reds and hundreds here are the second slowest stars in the round, and getting reds alone in core six and core seven are not worth it. Let's get ready for a full lap around the level three times for collectibles. 
<laughs> Fun. <laughs> yeah, this... This level... This level's kind of... eh. Also, also thought I'd mention Xenon GG on the race. By the way, yeah, they like it, it, it was close. it was it was very neck and neck uh, at the end there. You know, I so I kind of enjoyed watching that from from like the sidelines, even though I was basically just half awake. Oh. Uh, hello, hello there, Aussie Adam, and thank you for the Joel spam. <laughs> spam. So, how was your stream, Adam? Knowing the uh, current events of what's to happen for this merit. Marathon, I assume it's Sapphire stuff. <laughs> it was very Joel. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> so, this is not winning Sapphire until the race. Ah, it will go well. I don't got a world record. Ah. In... in what, uh, Zenry? It's as fast as to get someone banned in Rocket League. Oh! <laughs> So you had to point out the gamer strats. And This course was okay. The entire secret star in this course is just... It felt like a big old bag of why. <laughs> yep. Uh, like every single one of them un unmarked and in seemingly entirely random locales. It felt, it felt like Sanji literally just slapped a bunch of secrets together and called it a day. <laughs> this ass on the match. The opponent pulled out the game strat. Ah. Yep, crush. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I am dead in the screen. Hey. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, are we speaking to Crash's ghost, or...? <laughs> I, just, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> it 
Hey Crash, how's the afterlife? <laughs> <laughs> Dead crash time by oh no. <laughs> I was about to ask if you were feeling better. That's like nice. hope, hope, you know, hope COVID ain't treating you too horribly. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah. And yes, and yeah, it's a little bit better, so that's good to hear at least. <laughs> Omega lol Xenon. Oops, I've been streaming to the VM this whole time. <laughs> I mean, I just find it more funny than anything else. <laughs> Last, uh, oh, you're staying in. Hope you enjoyed doing the same claim for almost every star. Yep. <laughs> this is this true. Staying in bed all day is very traumatizing. Yeah, that that seems like just pain. <laughs> like just being bed bound. God. And now, next is, of course, then you will get three out of five stars. Yeah, three out of five stars. I won't get star one here because it expects slow. Which is the one with the hangable ceiling, right? Nope. Ah. Keep reading. Ah, alright, it says, for, for star two, you know me to cut a metal cap, but I can do a single star strap to get the star clipping through the switch. Okay, star 3. The star is pretty quick doing a skip, but that requires using the cannon, so here I have to get the star intended. I'll be um, I'll be using the climbable ceiling vines to get to the star, and yes, the star is faster to get than a star in another level. <clears throat> of course, 8. The last star I'll get here are reds alone. One of the fastest compensating stars. Reds and hundreds here are the longest out of the compensating stars, being four minutes long. The warp star requires the vanish cap, and sh the shelter star requires either the wing cap or the cannon, so those are out of the question. Rather interesting.
<laughs> Challenge accepted. So how's everyone's day going? <laughs> okay, I'm here. Oh wow, seems like we're pretty close to schedule, yeah. Indeed. So let's see, yeah. Here we go! And now, start get. About to the 500 megabyte. Yeah. And of course, some people decide to use like slightly larger bit rates on average, but but it's around 500. I'd say. Oh yeah, a couple of the reds, a couple of the red placements in in this course. So it, it feels kind of uh, kind of bad. Yeah, when I first played, I uh, I was searching a lot for one one the last red. It was one of the hidden ones here coming up. I I really get the feeling I know exactly what red you're talking about. <laughs> it is the one that is inside of of like a very small alcove hidden. And now... This is another major cut level, of course 10. I, I get only 3 out of 7 stars here. On top of that, I can't get the overworld toad star because it requires the vanish cap. The other 4 stars require the cannon, and 2 of those also require the wing cap. This level, along with course 4, uh, are the levels that are most affected by the capless cannon less challenging. And yeah, I mainly just uh, stream at around. And yeah, exactly. Like, I mainly stream at around 2700 to 3k uh, bits rate in general. So I feel like that'd be pretty okay for HD games and 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 very optimal for retro ones.
Now... This one says you'll never go over 3,000 because of the quality options, RNG. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really want to alienate people with, like, worse internet because, uh, quality option just happened to not be available on a particular day. And now, the pros. So it's time for Bowser 2. This level is unaffected, so I'll get the gate start dipping under water, and the second key, like, no, let's hear the slowest individual star out of the compensating stars, he being even longer than the slowest reds and hundred stars obtained here, and that's getting two stars in the level. Also, the fact that the red coin star spawns at the end of the level and takes you out of the level doesn't help at all. Hmm. This is certainly a Bowser course. <laughs> like. Like, there's really not much to say other than what's already said about some of these courses, really. <laughs> like, most of these just- most of these just speak for themselves. Oh? Yeah. No time for the low, slow part. Yeah. This is- Also, Mario walk on cubes without driving is cool again, seeing it in 64. Huh? <laughs> Hello, but uh... Huh? Okay. <laughs> Oh, without clipping, ah. <laughs> I was like, wait, without driving, what? <laughs> Autocorrect. Rainbow drugs confirmed. Definitely a mistake. I really didn't get that till sunshine. Hmm. Come on, fly guy, please. into the pipe. That's a... Uh... And now Bowser 2 is finished. Oh boy, so... So next is Course 8. Worst stage. Fortunately, I still only get two stars here. No full level climb here, so that's a pog. It is indeed a pog, because that... Okay, this course is extremely... Like, not fun. Not at all. A lot of things can go wrong here. I mean, there's a banger music track, but it would be better in a level that's actually fun. <laughs>
Oh, oh yeah, the clip. Oh yeah. <laughs> the thing is, I just decided, you know what? Let me see what I can do, and then I just try to punch clip through the gate. Yeah, this way you can do that. Yeah, you can. I I did that by accident whenever I was playing it casually. <laughs> So now, next we're going to Molten Lava Secret. Get five out of six stars here because the other star requires the Vanish Cap. Two of the stars would require the Metal Cap, but there's a workaround to get those stars doing a slope jump single star shot. I saw the close cut. Slope kick. Yep. Fortunately, that's all stars for that slope. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, a lot of the stars here are rather short anyway. Is there honestly for for this course there isn't that much to say other than, than to say it was rather fun when I played through this. Extra. Yeah, with the skip down correctly, the star is really fast.
<laughs> the first try. I mean, I mean, everything might be a first try if you think about it. All the others might just be warm ups. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's like the slope to the strip. I, I remember actually grinding that star here for a single star. So yes, uh... And now with that star, we've done the overworld 2 with 5 less stars than normal. Those will be compensated in overworld 3 to complete the 90 stars required to enter Bowser 3. And now... Start with the free overworld Toad Star, and then, of course, 13, which is uh, one of the fastest overworld 3 levels when done correctly, of course. Because so I'll be getting all 7 stars here instead of just 4. And there, there isn't that much to be said about this level. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I it, it, to yeah. yeah. <laughs> Inserts key into wall. Oh, I didn't even know you can just climb all the way through the <laughs> through the light source. <laughs> I have to uh, possibly drop sometime. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, just. <laughs> He's like, yeah, Mario. Jam the key right into the wall. <laughs> and somehow it works. <laughs> How does it work? No one knows. All we know is that it works. <laughs> and that's and that's good enough for, for us, the player. <laughs> I actually rather liked this level. To be honest. Uh, it, it, it's rather it's rather a cute little course. <laughs> Red. Collected. Here we go. I'm gonna be uh, I'm starting to appear here. And now the the
<laughs> so I guess there definitely are like a few courses I've had like a good amount of fun with, but it... <laughs> it's just kind of a shame that I had to like think a little bit to remember that. <laughs> but... But I can uh... But I mean I... I can kind of understand where some people are coming from when it comes to like how people would enjoy this game, or whatever. Actually, I wonder what your first hack that you played was, Tala. It was 74. Ah. Solid choice. I believe my first was a Star Revenge one. And then... From so there, hear me out. Uh, uh, once I finish, I have to go really quick so you can transition. Me. I have, I have to push all the end, but don't know if I will. Ah, oh, already. Or it might be quick. But I don't hmm. know. SR1 then Treasure World. <laughs> wow. Mine was like SR1 then Star Road then Missing Stars then Warp Zone. And then I played EE before 74. Now, let us do your work to research. And now, next level, I think, is the hardest main course in the game, course 14. You get four stars here, like in regular Ninja Star, but I'll change the Cannon Star for the Cooper race. Shout out to Dolphino for pointing that out when I did a, sh when I did a stream run of this, otherwise, I would have looked up. <laughs> so, so yeah, I guess a uh, shout out to Dolphino for for coming up with a good start thing. Green stars and last impact. Last impact was actually one of played like in point seventeen or something. Super race was a little tricky. Here 
The race with the hiking Koopa. Maybe a little zero. Seems like a fun star, yeah. Climbing an entire mountain top only to just to do a leap of faith at the end. <laughs> I don't know, you should probably use Wink Eye for that. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, there isn't really a wing cap in this course. So it's literally just a, a leap of faith here. Yeah. Flying is less fun than falling with style. True! <laughs> <laughs> the big jump hint does not give me hopes. <laughs> yeah. It's literally just... <laughs> Climb up, slide down, you know, give a huge leap, and, and then start. Success will put you on a slope? Uh, yeah. As well as failure work. <laughs> so now, um. It says, okay, course 12. It says, I'll get all seven stars here like I normally would, but I have to do workarounds for some of them. First, I'll get stars 1 to 3 like normal. Star 4. So for these secrets, you normally use middle cap to get the first two secrets since they're on top of lava. But here, no caps, health management is important. So I get the first secret long jumping from the star 1 area, and I heal completely. Then I get the second secret with a somewhat precise long jump and land on the slope to go get the third one. While on the slope, I get the red to heal. 
If I take more than one lava bounce, I can heal with some nearby coins. The remaining secrets obtain normally, having just one HP at the end to fall down and get the star. Then star five. Star is quite simple and the star is quite simple, so with a triple jump lava bounce I can get to it. Star six. Since I'm doing cc -less, I want to be able to get resin hundreds combined. I use the metal cap to go into the crater to get coins and then get out without taking any damage. Hmm. Hmm. But it is possible to get in and out of the crater without the metal cap. It requires a very dumb triple jump double lava bounce to land on the red and barely make it out alive. I get a hundred first and for that I'll get some coins around the level and then go into the center to get the rest, doing the intended parts for star 2. Since I already have star 2, I'll just die after getting the star and then re-enter the level to get the reds. Greetings, Ray. Some of the category extensions, I can barely see them. I don't know if this has a leaderboard in general. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure not. Yo, hot head belt. You know, it's only a shame I, I wasn't able to be like in the common tree VC during the, um, uh, race between Xenon and Okami, but whatever. Pretty sure that stuff like that will. But, yeah. Go to. This is a uh, join mix pack 2022 pause champ woo that <laughs> oh boy there it is I guess so get the vods at post event probably yeah um. I guess by that time, Xenon, I'll probably have made like a hack already, but you know, it'll be fun to, to, it'll still be fun to partake in a, in a collab hack anyway. Excuse me. Yeah, it's better. Yeah. So let's see here. I really. Here we go. <sighs> also, also, I guess with all my stuff back, I can actually. Oh, I could do level models again. Whoa, I. I completely forgot about doing that for a little while. <laughs> I know what I'm doing post event. It'll be decals, I have no idea what I'm doing out there. Ah! 
Mm. I'm hacking August, still on level one guy. <laughs> Gotta love the 50-50 grind for the fans. <laughs> Look out. Let's see. When's making the. When's making a full hack deck? Keepo. <laughs> Whoa, slow down there, man. 64 megabytes of text. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I was about to say that right before I saw the message being posted. Great minds think alike. Oh, nice that. Pretty sick. I have like a whole uh, concept for a hack of my own as well, but like for a full hack, but I'm simply just wanting to make something smaller uh, so I know what to do for the larger project. Since I figured that'd be the smarter way to go about things, really. Not seeing. Uh. It is cool. Oh, hello there, sodium chloride logic. Thank you for the raid to the uh, Dream Jam. Thank you. Hello, Raid against you. So, so of course, 15. Just here, I will get three stars, but one of them is different. Star 3 normally requires Vanish Cap, so I'll change that for star 6. Ah! One of the most fun stars in the game, I see. <laughs> oh, BMG sixty four. Nice. How? <laughs> Howdy, so. <laughs> Ultimate challenge. Oh, that's cute, Sanji.
inside the large pie. <laughs> I just take it. <laughs> Get inside the large metal tube. <laughs> So this, the term toxic pipe just reminds me of an attack. <laughs> oh my god. Toxic pipe just reminds me of a test. Oh god. <laughs> be a real toxic crisis so on its own. And now that done there's within here there is course eleven, the last main stage being played in the run. So uh, I'll get the three stars I get here normally, plus another two to compensate, and finally get to 90. And of course after that, most people know the drill after getting the ISC, getting to the... Getting to the final Bowser course and, and clearing it. Yeah, it does. Oh yeah, another thing of note is that some of the water makes it kind of hard for you to be able to properly do the, uh... Like, some of the camera in the water section makes it hard for you to be able to... To see that much, but then again, that's mainly if you. <laughs> so. Y'all just have those, uh, just like burp the hiccups and then, and then just like acid just like wells up a little bit <laughs> and just feel pain for a little bit afterward. Yeah, that's always annoying. Yeah, I suppose it's has to be fun. Like, I don't really get it bad, but... <laughs> Makes you feel like an alien, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> well, those fellas, Zena. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like the first time I had like heartburn, I thought I was having a heart attack. Because like... <laughs> I'm glad you survived. <laughs> and then like, there was like one case where that... Where like a bad case of heartburn happened and I uh, and I almost just went into a, into a straight up like panic attack because of uh, because of like the momentary pain that I was in at that time <laughs> is it yep time I don't know is it what is this? Yeah. Oh yeah, this is... <laughs> you have to keep contact with the... With the actual elevator underwater un unless you want the thing to just be... Out. Unless you want the thing to disappear after a short while. <laughs> so yeah, in in short, Xenon though, it is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> it is metal cap intended, probably, probably. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah for the, the yeah for the elevator style. This was a. This metal cap required. Are you supposed to sniff it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the mental image of just Mario just going <laughs> right up to like a, a a platform in like water and just going <laughs> Yes I'm not fifty base. Yes they're gonna be destroyed, yeah. T B eight Hello. Good morning, you. Can still hear me, right? Hmm. Can still hear me, right? Yeah. Okay. Just. Just a moment. Uh. <coughs> This this course was uh, was a little fun. Oh, I didn't know you could ledge grab those spinning platforms. There you go. I thought uh, I thought the only thing you could do is just land on top of them. And now on to Bowser 3 Part 2. Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, DD. What's a 30 minute run that you know? Uh. Eh, no. Let's see. Let me just look at speedrun.com real quick. Yeah, holy shit. Yeah. Holy shit, getting destroyed. Does that mean I could let you indeed do more? Yeah. This is probably rather fill within the hole now. This is nice. <laughs> That's a good I don't know if somebody else wants to take over her filler after this. If that's what I suppose, yeah, GMD is next for Luigi in the Forest Ruins reboot of uh, 4D Star. I still need to go for tomorrow, honestly. Guess I'm not. Yeah, it could be sick, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's awake. <laughs> 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 yeah, good <laughs> rise and shine, fellas. Rise and shine. That's completely fair, GMB. We should be set up just by doing some last minute practice. Yeah. Though I doubt, like, though I think you mentioned that doing, like, the rest of, of that wouldn't really. wouldn't really take long. 
Ooh. Thank you, boy, for, for your patronage. And now... We're about to get into the... We're in the final fight here. So... You know what to... You know what to do, Regla. Grab their start. It's still chance to say the last thing, so... Just to Alrighty. let you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alrighty, here is the last thing. It says, um... It says, thank you for watching my... Not yet. <laughs> oh, not yet. Alrighty, alrighty. But yeah, I'll... And then... And then, and then, and then a final message at the end of the run. It says, thank you for watching my run, and thanks to the Versa for commentating for me. I'll quickly show the equivalent diagram for the CCC challenge for this hack. It says, this is quite different from the diagram for Vanilla, where you couldn't get any additional stars without coins, allowing caps or no cannons. You can get a few more stars here, but unfortunately that's not enough to meet the 90 star requirement to enter B3. That's why coin stars are needed. However, this diagram only considers the 126 stars you're able to collect before entering B3. When adding the 6 remaining stars that complete the 132 star total of the game, you get this diagram. Both parts of B3 are mostly affected by the capless and coinless challenges, as the cannon is non-existent in both levels. Okay, thanks for watching. Gotta go. Yep. So you can move on to the next one. Alrighty. Cool. Uh, thank you for running. Thanks for commenting. Gotta go. Yep. Uh,